Hello there, what the flick? I am Christy and Alonzo and Matt. We've got an early review for you of Skyscraper, the super complicated plot of Skyscraper. Please tell us about it, Matt. Oh, I will. Uh, so <laughs> Dwayne The Rock Johnson uh, is a security consultant uh, who is a former FBI operative. Uh, and basically what you're getting here is The Rock versus a super tall skyscraper and he's missing a leg, which makes it a fair fight. Take a look, we've got a trailer. I, yeah. Mr. Sawyer, is your family enjoying their stay? Very much so. They're shocked you gave us the entire floor. After your security assessment, what do you think of the building? With all due respect, he's a glorified security guard. Please. The Pearl is the tallest, most advanced building in the world. You've built a vertical city, but you've brought with it every single safety and security challenge that I could think of. We thought this floor was empty. So did I. Not only have you brought them all indoors, but you've trapped them 240 floors in the air. No one really knows what would happen if things go wrong. But I'm just a glorified security guard, so what the hell do I know anyway? What's going on? The 96th floor is on fire. You're gonna be just fine, I promise you that. No, 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 no! Tell me, how much do you love your family? So, guess what happens? <laughs> just guess, just guess what happens. This is fun uh, and dumb. It is fun and dumb. Like, it's funny. The, I, I was looking at the trailers, uh, the reviews on Rotten Tomatoes, and they all boil down to this movie is stupid and derivative, and I had a great time, or this movie is stupid and derivative, and I hated it. So, that's kind of what you're left with here. It is stupid and derivative, and I had a blast. It's yeah. Die Hard meets the Towering Inferno. With The Rock. Yeah. With, with a little lady from Shanghai thrown in. Uh, too. This is you. stupid with two O's. Mm -hmm. Stupid. But, Multiple O's. oh my God, it was so much fun. Now, that might have been the two or three cocktails I had going into it. But whatever. We were totally uh, sober. Me yes, and this movie I got, I is a that hoot. As excuse. No. It it does exactly what it says on the box. <laughs> it's, it's there are no surprises here except that there's stuff in that trailer that doesn't make it into the movie. Fine. There's some <laughs> great stuff like you're jumping like crazy. You're it's over the top where it needs to be. It's not too winking about who about what it is. Like it takes itself just seriously enough. Uh, and I had a great time in this. It, it is. It's over the top. It's totally bonkers. Um, but it's really a lot of fun. I would say it is fun in its individual moments, right? I mean, it's the, the, the signature images here, like him jumping off the crane, like the things, the things that you have seen in the, the trailers. There's one moment, I hate to sell Alonzo out, but watching a movie like this with him is so much fun. There's a moment, he audibly squeals. <laughs> yeah. And I did not realize how afraid of heights I am. <laughs> if you're afraid of heights, this oh, movie yeah. is gonna mess with your head. Yeah, there are a few moments that are just, again, they put a lot of thought and a lot of effort into these massive set pieces into making them as terrifying and gripping and thrilling as possible. Those work. Nick was sitting between us and Nick was like patting you on the <laughs> arm like, it's gonna be okay. There's a lot you of great- up in a ball, it worked out really well. But the, as the connective tissue in between, that is problematic for a multitude of reasons, including A, it's just terrible, like clunky expository dialogue. Well, yeah, right? every, everything you learn in the first 15 minutes comes come up back. again in the last 15 minutes. Right, so you know? pay attention to the very, very dry explanations of all the high tech <laughs> whistles and bells. Because you're the gonna plural, see them all again. Because they all matter. But also, off the top and then scattered throughout is a really high body count. There's a lot of needless, I would say, killing that happens here, starting with the, the flashback from 10 years earlier, the thing that okay. causes yeah. Dwayne <laughs> make Johnson, him lose the leg. make him lose a leg and makes him go into security. He was a Marine and he was a, a FBI super badass guy. Um, that moment kind of puts you on edge from the very beginning, like not a good edge, like a uh, kind of edge. And then there's a scene where the bad guys, the international cadre of bad guys, they burst into uh, security office, and they just mow everybody down with automatic gunfire. Like, these people don't all need to die. And it just feels kind of gratuitous to me. And I'm thinking, is it for thrills? Is it for character development to further flesh out how deeply awful the bad guys are? I, I don't know. It, it just, it struck me weird. Having said that, it's a PG-13 movie. And so you don't see a whole lot of blood when people right, you don't, die right, in mass. Right, people get shot. People. You see the gunshots and they're firing at people off screen. 
right? Mm -hmm. uh, or they just fall. Right, somebody you know. falls to their death and you just see them fall. You don't mm -hmm. see them hit. Yeah, I mean, look. That, that bothered me. This is a movie that is very easily picked apart. I've, I've thought of at least one giant plot hole You know, the <laughs> next day. It's also the kind of movie where whoever did the casting, any character in the movie that we're supposed to be surprised later that oh, he's, in, he's in league with the bad guys. Right. They cast people where you're like, oh, well, you're clearly in league with yeah. the bad guys. And it's you not know. a spoiler, it's pretty, it's pretty clear. There yeah. are quite a lot of surprises here. I will say I appreciate that Nev Campbell gets a lot more to do here yes. as his wife than most wives get in this kind yeah, of movie. She's a, yeah. she's a Navy surgeon, she's a three-time Afghanistan veteran, right. like she actually can hold her own. She's a combat trained nurse. Or is surgeon. She, is she a surgeon? surgeon? Sexist. I gotta fix my review, I thought she was a nurse. I thought, no. she, was, I thought she was the nurse who- She's who, the surgeon. Even better, I gotta go right oh, through my review. Oh, with woman in scrubs <laughs> has to be a nurse, huh? No, no, well, that's Well, wake up, better. lady. <laughs> Women I'm, can I'm do everything. Woke. I'm not woke enough. Women can be film <laughs> critics and they can make mistakes, apparently. So, um, no, but she's tough. And so when they explain who she is, like her skills also make sense. Yes. And so I, I like that about it. Yeah, mm. I, look, I, 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 I spent this movie kind of ticking off all the sort of strands of DNA that I was recognizing from other previous films, yeah. but I had a great time. Like this is, if you're, it doesn't, it doesn't expand the nature of what a summer blockbuster is. It doesn't rewrite the rules of a summer blockbuster. But they took the recipe of summer blockbuster and they made it very well. Yeah, and um, the director <laughs> Rawson Marshall Thurber, who yes. also directed Dwayne Cent Johnson in Central Intelligence, mm -hmm. which, if you if you forgot, as I had, is Dwayne Johnson and Kevin Hart. That was good. We, was, like, we was liked it, that did one. Did we like that one? Yeah. It was cute. Anyway. Yeah. He so, also made dodgeball, but whatever. And uh, and we're the Millers. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. Man, look with the rock, he knows what he's doing. I yeah. don't know. Um, uh, how much of this feels like just kind of a shameless ploy to be desirable to the Asian, the ever burgeoning Asian film market? Right. It's set in Hong Kong. You've uh, got like half the film is subtitled. Well, not half, a come lot, on. But lot. I'd say of the movies that try to drag in Asia in some way or another to appeal to that audience, this one, it felt at least mostly organic because really, where are they building these giant buildings right. now? Not here. Not here. They're in the Middle East or they're in Asia. So, you know, if you're gonna make, if you're gonna tell me that somebody's created a high rise that is three times the size of the Empire State Building and you're telling me that it's in Kowloon on the Bay, I'm like, okay, yeah, I buy that. No, I didn't find that implausible at all. I'm just saying, I, I, yeah, I, I mean, you're right. The, the, <laughs> the, the, what's wagging the tail here is yes, like we want to sell tickets in, you know, in Asia, but for the movie, you know, as opposed to something like whatever that Transformers movie is where yeah. Stanley Tucci yells about algorithms, this felt, <laughs> a, this felt it was more like of a piece with what the, where the plot was going. Right, you, some, you know, the supporting cast here, especially I think cast specifically to appeal to the to the Chinese market, you know, you've got Chin Han, mm. who we saw in one of the Batman movies, one of the Chris Nolan movies. Right. Um, you've got Byron Mann, who was in Man with the Iron Fist, doing that awesome Prince impersonation for the whole movie. <laughs> uh, they're they're solid in this. Uh, I like uh, Pablo Schreiber in this. Um, you know, kind of he's kind of fun. He's fine. Yes, but uh, he's he's in that yeah, category. I know. Of, I know. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> I had a great time. Look. Yes, there's there's points where you're like, uh, I don't care, right? It doesn't make sense, but I don't care because you hit hit with the next set piece. Yeah. I like this. I give it an eight. If you have a drive-in near you, see it yeah. at a drive-in. It's that level of dumb and entertaining. Eight point eight. I really enjoy myself. I was saying six point five. Oh. Because it's just, I have problems with it. Well, like, it's okay. fun in its individual moments. <laughs> I, I wrote about for RogerEbert.com and I made a giant error, which I now have to go <laughs> fix. Thank you for reminding me of that. Um, and I gave it two and a half stars. So it's, if you want escapist dumb summer fun, it's that, but also it's not that. Anyway, it comes out on Friday, so check it out. Bye.